What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So cool to be vlogging again. You see the issue is um I just like I don't know, I'm not feeling it anymore and it's not um ooh god. I'm gonna say this is stupid. Hi it's been so long. It's been so long. It actually hasn't been that long, but I haven't edited Jude's birthday video, which actually was probably about a month ago. I just, I've been like pregnant. So, um, it's not even about not feeling good because I do have really low blood sugar. So I get sick a lot. I get really faint and really tired a lot. And then I also just have this horrible... Like, I already suffered from body dysmorphia before I was pregnant, but I was finally getting to a point where I was, like, starting to like myself. If I felt like I wasn't, I would look at a picture of myself because in real life, you know, you don't realize. And then you see a picture of yourself, and then especially when you compare it to an old picture of yourself, you're like, dang, I really have come far. But now it's kind of like you're taking steps backwards because you're gaining weight. Because you're supposed to be gaining weight because you're pregnant, you know. And I try to be lenient on myself because of that. But, like, they, for instance, today I put on this shirt. And I'm like, dang, this shirt was so loose on me eight months ago. And then I'm like, Martha, you're freaking eight months pregnant. Duh, it was loose on you eight months ago. Like, but it's just like you look at things like that and you get a little depressed because... You're crazy. And I keep saying you, but I'm like meaning me, I-ish type thing. Also, like, I just, I can't breathe. Like, I'm so squished and I have a very short torso. So I just, I can never breathe. I don't like to talk because I'm out of breath. Like, literally just sitting here saying this stuff, I'm... I feel done. Like, I'm tired. I'm over it. I'm out of breath. I do have a want to vlog today. I mean, I always do. I just don't end up doing it because I'm like, I'm, I'm not feeling my best. I don't feel cute. I feel fat. I've retained water in my face and my neck, so it looks like my double chin's growing back. Look at that. And I know, I'm being dramatic, but like, I just, if, you know, I don't know about you, but when I don't feel cute, I just... I'm grumpy so like during the day I'll feel fine but if I were to vlog like say I'm gonna go edit this video and be looking back on it I'm hearing myself breathe I'm gonna be looking at my double chin I'm gonna be looking at this freaking belly that's probably gonna keep popping out look at 35 weeks now by the way that's how long it's been since I've updated you um and I'm just gonna hate it and I'm gonna be like this is why I haven't been vlogging on top of all of that, my mom had surgery. I've been taking her everywhere. I've been taking the kids everywhere, and I'm not complaining. I just feel like I haven't had a day to myself at all. Like, and then I've been really emotional. I've been wanting Jude all the time, been missing him like crazy. So I've been taking my extra time to spend with him, but also running around. <sighs> I can't breathe. Um, and on top of all of that, whew, on top of all of that, <laughs> my doctor appointments are out of town I have them at least once a week because I am high risk pregnancy so they check on me all the time and I just like and it's always in the morning too so I haven't had a day to just wake up sit around in my PJs do housework be alone not even be alone but like if I'm with I love being with my mom but like do what I want to do even though she comes with my doctor appointments I'm not complaining at all I'm just saying I haven't really had a chance to like just feel like myself in a long time so I just haven't picked up the camera and honestly I don't know how many more times you'll see me until after the baby comes when I'm starting to feel more like myself and that's about it I am almost due though so hopefully I will see you soon other than this video anyways today uh, I decided to take Jude to the babysitter because as much as I miss him and want to spend time with him he's still in the phase where he's like mommy 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 and I really just need a break so I'm gonna make my mom go to Walmart with me it's Valentine's Day and I was like I'm not usually a procrastinator at all but I honestly forgot that today was Valentine's Day until Wednesday today's Friday and ow and uh, what was I gonna say Oh, I was gonna go yesterday, but then I ended up running people around like I have been. But guys, I gotta show you what Carlos did. I, you know, you might think it's stupid, you might think it's silly, but I am obsessed with the challenge on MTV. Like, obsessed. I'm gonna cry. Like, I, I actually did cry when I opened this. I feel so stupid. I cried. But tell me you wouldn't do the same. And it, 
the point is I have to go get stuff for Valentine's Day. I have to do some stuff. I have to wash my car. I might even go to Santa Maria out of town to get something because I already know what I'm going to get. I know what I'm going to do. I wish I would have had it ready when he got home this morning from work, but it'll just have to be ready when he wakes up from work, which is still going to be Valentine's Day. So, you know, whatever. It's still okay. Look at this. Martha. Oh my god. This is Wes from MTV's The Challenge. And I have been sent here by your lovely, sexy, smart, and adorable husband, Carlos, to tell you a very big, happy Valentine's Day. Apparently, you guys are expecting your third child, Tegan, and he loves you despite the fact that you set off smoke alarms every time you use the oven, which is okay. That happens. That happens to the best of us. And he also loves you, despite the fact you're not as good at impersonating me as he is. I feel like those aren't that big of a deal, right? Like, I feel like it's all, both of those fall under the classification of, as long as you're trying, that's what matters, right? It's not, you're trying to cook. You're trying to impersonate the greatest television personality of all time. I feel like that's all that Carlos or I could ever ask for. Anyway, I just want to remind you guys, though, the headline is, Martha, you are awesome, Carlos loves you, and happy Valentine's Day. Can you freaking believe that? I cried when I opened that. Like, I don't care. If you give me a diamond ring, like, I'm gonna be like, okay, I don't wear jewelry. If you freaking buy me a car, I'm gonna be like, thanks, but that's, like, I don't, I just, I cried when I opened that. I cannot believe he got Wes to make me a video. Oh, I feel so stupid, and you guys are probably gonna be like, you're so dumb, but I just wanna cry right now thinking about it. Maybe I'm hormonal. But, like, he's one of my freaking favorites, and it's my favorite TV show ever. Like, <sighs> tell me your present was better than mine. I don't even care. Like, it's... Anyways, I really need to go see if my mom's ready and get this day started. Rip! Oh, gosh. Hi, bad girl. Mom! Why are you having trouble? No, just because I didn't want to uh, risk whoever it was, but if it's you, I don't miss you because you come in. <gasps> yeah! Hey! I need a hairbrush! Oh, okay. I've been through two bathrooms and haven't found one yet. <laughs> Imagine that. And my house keeps adding up on hairbrushes because uh, Jamie freaking brings them and leaves them, so I keep forgetting to. I cleaned your room already this morning. This is, yeah. this is the, the clean part. It looks beautiful. It was pretty horrible. It I don't ever want horrible. teenagers. And you know what's so funny is I never ever wear color. And today I get dressed and I just had this moment where I was like, maybe I should just bring something else just in case. And I was thinking, I meant just in case because of the color. So I packed myself an extra shirt and sweater and then I'm making breakfast. And I splatter oil on myself. So like, say I'm not psychic. I don't care, but I am. So let's just change now. Okay, we's home. I got my blenders with a shot of energy. I don't know if it's giving me energy, but it's probably better than drinking more coffee. I could be wrong. Maybe I should just drink more coffee. But we're just gonna give it a chance. Whoa! Oh! Yeah, just talking to my camera. <laughs> I was gonna get like a cute wicker basket to try to put everything in and make it all cute and like a little care package. But I couldn't find one. And I'm just too lazy to go to Marshalls. I have a whole lot of stuff to do. I gotta pay bills. I gotta go in to pay my car payment. I gotta wash my car. I gotta put gas in my car. And then I gotta go to the bank and get money for the babysitter. I'm gonna go get Jude and pay the babysitter. So I bought this cute, not not actually like cute, but like rose gold basket to put everything in. Which isn't very manly, but if everything goes in and he takes it out, 
then I can use this for something else. I'm like, have a bunch of junk at home. And then I got the tissue paper to wrap everything in. So I plan to put some beers in there with some more beers. Now that I'm thinking about it, the beers are probably gonna take up like the majority of the room, so I might not do all the beers. I don't know, maybe I'll have to leave them to the side. And then I think this is for girls. It's like the beauty superfood, but it has antioxidant superfood with probiotics, 30 fruits and vegetables, grass-fed collagen peptides, berry flavor. But like he's super into like this health stuff and like protein shakes and whatever. If he doesn't use it, then I'll use it, but I think it should be fine. And then I got him some Red Bulls for his basket too. I'll like open everything up and like try to make it cute. <sighs> I can't breathe. And then, candy. What are those things called? I think they're like called red vines. Those are his favorite, but I couldn't find them, so we just did the airheads instead. Jerky. Jerky's like not his favorite, but every time I get myself jerky, he ends up eating all of it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get him some jerky and see if he enjoys that. If he doesn't, I'll eat it. But I think he will, because he's always eating my jerky when I get jerky. Card that doesn't say anything on the inside because I would rather write what I want to say than try to find a card that says what I want to say. And then I thought these were fun. Little Cheeto flavor blast, which I honestly want to eat right now, but I'm just I I won't. I'll put them in his little basket for him. We don't really do gifts, so I know it's a lot of like drinks and food, but like I also know that other than my awesome video, I'm not gonna get anything probably. So like food is good and then I got this as some of you may know my husband is not a big sweet person though so I need to like carefully try to open this like I don't know if I'll be able to but I'm gonna try to open it so that I'll be able to wrap it back up and then I got a bunch of like these little bottles I got a bunch of these because he is a drinker. Not like heavy, but you know, he likes his alcohol. So I'm gonna try to, oh, now that I think about it, the tequila might be too big. I think the other ones will fit in though. I hope, that's gonna kill my whole plan. So I'm gonna take out some of the chocolate and eat it and then put it in his alcohol. And it's just gonna be so cute. I think this one's too big. So I might just give it to the dog. Oh, and then most importantly, I've never seen this kind before, but I love spicy food right now. And I also love beef cup of noodles. So I got myself some lunch and I'm so excited to try it. And it's actually okay to eat lunch now because it's after 12. Yes, I'm trying to eat healthier, but I saw these and I was like, you have to try them. Especially while you're pregnant and you have the excuse of having cravings. Anyways, so I guess I'm going to try to get this basket put together now. Alright, so as I guess, we do not have room for all of his drinks. My mom went to the garage to go see if she could find another basket but if not i'll just try to sneak into his room and put him all on his bed stand because he's on graveyard so he's sleeping right now so hopefully he'll still be sleeping when i run over there later so that i could sneak in there and just like put him next to the basket if not it'll be fine it's fine okay it's fine did you find a basket yeah just this <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just deal. I'll just put them like on the table and put the extra drinks on the sides or something. That's cute. That looks nice. Doesn't it look cute? Mm -hmm. He's got all his little goodies, his candy and his jerky. Now I just got to do the heart that I lost. Lost my heart. Mm. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> we love blenders. Mmm. <laughs> I might not be book smart, but I'm pretty street smart because you could just wrap up the Easter basket with Valentine's paper and it becomes a Valentine's basket. 
boom, mind blown. Yes. Guys, I would be pissed if I got this for Valentine's Day and my chocolate was missing. Do you see that? It's empty. I got it on camera. I didn't eat it. Look. Wow. I'm, I'm, what company is this? <laughs> Russell Stover. Write to them. I'm, I'm writing a letter. Want some chocolate, Mom? I gotta get rid of, <laughs> rid of some of these. Not right now. I'm still working on my... I think that's toffee or something. Oh, look at the chocolate missing. You're right. I'm gonna have to move these around anyway to put the bottles in. You're Best wife ever. I just messed up all the ones that look delicious. I'm just kidding. I don't know if he likes dark chocolate. I don't know if he likes chocolate at all. I know he likes caramel though, so I'm gonna try to leave the ones that look like they might have caramel in them. One out. Put them in a baggie or something. I'm gonna take the dark ones out, because who likes dark chocolate? Is anyone gonna get that? Do you want me to get that? Yeah. Hmm, good thing you didn't answer it. Let's see how I can do these. Uh, they're not. They're not. Definitely not the Patron. Oh, fuck my life. I guess it'll have to be in his goodie bag. That sucks. Ruined my whole idea. Shh. Sorry. <laughs> the Patron one's not gonna fit in here. Mm. It's too big. I'll I don't put know. it somewhere. I don't know if these. Just kidding. I don't know if it'll close even with these. I might have to tape it. Ghetto. Use a um, string and tape it on the outside like it's the only one that's here. Okay, then. Actually, I guess we could fit more of the chocolates that I took out from here. Gives me less of an excuse to have to eat them. Which, I'll probably be the one eating them anyway, let's be real. So when he opens his heart box, he'll see this. Ah, Yeah! And then we just had to leave that one in there. Say hello! Say I hope now. I hope yeah. Yeah. Did you have a good day? Kind of. Yeah. Hi. Show me what you got. Is it squishy? Can I feel it? Not really that squishy. Oh. It's cool. Yeah. I could use it. Also use as a bouncy ball. Super cool. And I got this bear for my friend E.T. Bell. Oh. And the candy sweet. and the goodie bags. Aww. Lucky girl, huh? Whoa, you got lots of candies. This is from Eli. This one's from Elia too. Very nice. Very from nice. From Elia too, Bonnie. Okay, you could open it now. It's too hard. I tried to find red vines, but I couldn't find any, so. I gotta take off mine. So, what do you think Valentine's Day is about, Bonnie? Loving. Loving? Yeah. What do you love? My family. Who do you love? Everyone in my family. Why do you love? They're important to me. And what made you happy today? Seeing you. <gasps> oh, stop it! What made you sad today? Nothing. Oh, it's cute, it's cute, it's cute. Look at my little mini miniature. Oh, very cute. Not focused, but cute. What about you, Jude? A dog. What made you happy today? I'm happy. <laughs> what made you sad today? No uh, juice. <laughs> no juice? Yeah. <laughs> I'm having a hell of a time trying to get him to eat his food every single day. Like he is the pickiest eater. Will only eat 
Like, he's to the point where he won't even eat chicken nuggets. Like, maybe he wants to be a vegetarian. I don't know. But he, he just doesn't. He doesn't eat <laughs> anything but, like, mac and cheese and pizza. And, like, barbecue chicken, which is awesome. But it's like, we can't barbecue all the time. We might have to start barbecuing all the time. Right? No, 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 you don't like barbecue, Bonnie? I love barbecue. You love it? <laughs> Rainbow! Rainbow! Let me show you something that could come apart. Take it apart. Oh, wow. Nifty. It could get apart. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> get off. What are you doing, dude? And now I'm gonna put it back. Well, anyway, short as today was. It wasn't short because I had a lot of errands, and I just. But we're home now. Everyone ate dinner except for Carlos. He just woke up because he's on graveyard. He. But I, he got he his present. He wakes all night. He got his present, and he's happy. And he drank his present because he doesn't have work tonight. So. Anyway. Yeah, it was a type of drink. He ch he tricked me on letting me keep it, but I didn't want it because it's man stuff. It's gross. Yeah, and Bonnie thinks she needs to talk like a baby for some reason. I don't it's know. It's the weirdest thing. It's not cute. You're a big girl. No, I'm not. And you're cute when you talk normal, but not when you talk like that. No, I'm not. Yeah. Anyways, I'm yeah. exhausted. We have a big day. Yeah. What are you yelling about? The big one. It's a big one. He yelled a lot. I'm a tea fight. Oh, oh, fudge. Anyway, so. Oh, yeah. Ow. And we will see you <laughs> in the next one. Say bye. Rainbow unicorns are on light. Uh, hey. Can you stop, please? It's a rainbow. Oh, dude. <sighs> Oh. Ow. All right, everyone say bye. 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 Bye, YouTube bye. channel. Bye. 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 Inside my own world of make-believe